Welcome back everyone to Diddly Squat Gaming. Today we are heading to the quarry. If we pull up our map here, we're chilling out at this fuel station right now. And we are going to basically just work our way to this gateway to the quarry. I'm not really sure all three gateways go to the quarry, so not really sure uh, where we're going to pop out. But uh, yeah, we'll find out when we get there. And also, uh, if anyone knows if any of the tasks, um, or if I miss any of the tasks, not necessarily with this map, but any map, please let me know in the comments because that will help me out tremendously. Um, and I don't look like a buffoon. Uh, but I did uh, go into this menu here where you can then pull up the task for each area. And as you can see, I have completed all the ones for the Drown Lands. I thought there might have been one, but uh, nope. We uh, we got them all, so let's head off to the quarry. We've got a full tank of gas. We've got all-wheel drive on. Diff lock's always locked in this thing, so let's go explore the new area and hopefully find the up or the the up towers. Wow, I just mixed both words together. Let's find the watchtowers and hopefully some upgrades and, and possibly a new vehicle. I'm not really sure what's in the quarry, but um, I'm sure there's got to be something useful. And uh, yeah, this, this little hill here is a little bit uh, muddier than I thought. So much for a nice easy drive over there. <clears throat> But yeah, I just, you know what, if you guys, uh, we might as well get this out of the way now. But if you uh, like this episode, please like and subscribe, as it does help out the channel quite a bit. Uh, more than you know, just because I'm still a relatively small channel. Um, so each person I get is a, a quite a large percent of my viewers, uh, compared to a channel that has millions of viewers. So, uh, lo and behold, it does help out a lot. So. Uh, if you can drop a comment and let me know how I'm doing, that would be great as well. And, uh, yeah, I don't really have members or anything like that right now, so don't worry about becoming a member. <laughs> but if you want, I do have a Discord. If you want to join the Discord, the link is down below in the description. And, yeah, you can, uh, feel free, feel free to share some screenshots or, uh, issues that you may have or possibly even uh, help another uh, subscriber out if they have issues you can answer their questions there uh, and try to you know help everyone out right so anyways <coughs> now that I got that awkward thing out of the way let's get on with snow running I almost said trucking but uh, who am I kidding I gotta go left here yeah, right would have been a bad idea, <laughs> but it wouldn't have uh, it wouldn't have been the first time that I went the wrong way, and it will not be the last. So I'm actually gonna skip that mud. That looks like a lot of mud. This looks like a small little creek that we could just skip over. And that's a tree. So yeah, if I uh, <laughs> if I was a better driver, I probably would have avoided that. But uh, yeah, well at least you know not to do what I did. <clears throat> and speaking of my channel, uh, I did, I am, I believe I'm now over 231 at the time of, or at the time of recording, so we are growing, so that's a good thing. Uh, I was, I was a little nervous there. Uh, it, the, the channel kind of slowed down a little bit, but I'm sure that's just uh oh. What? No way. Uh, alright, well. How do we unlock the quarry? I would, I would hate to just drive over there. I wonder. This could be good for you. We can unlock the... Do I have to do this first? It doesn't say anything about the quarry. 
Uh, maybe? I mean, I am a long ways away from, uh, from unlocking or even just getting to these ones to see if I can get across the quarry that way. That barrier looks closed. All right, well, I guess we're not heading to the quarry today. Um, yeah, we are going to, we're going to jump into, uh, the Azov or the dairy? Let's look at the dairy. Where are we at for the dairy? The dairy's pulling that. Yeah, I think we are going to jump into the Azov 64131. And yeah, I think we're going to have to... I think we're going to have to... do this uh, hub recovery second stage. I don't know if this is the right one. Because unfortunately, it doesn't really explain it. Um, that's logging. Uh, what's East Wind? Yeah, none of these are really telling me what to do next. Um, so that's fun. Uh, hopefully, you know what? I'm going to do the second stage recovery. That, uh, or I, I love how I completely read that backwards. The hub recovery second stage. We're going to do this one. We're going to activate it. And if this doesn't unlock us to go to the quarry, then uh, let me know in the comments if you've played this game and have gotten past this. Uh, because clearly I don't know what I'm doing. So a little bit, a uh, little bit of help never, never hurt. So, but all right, let's, uh, what? I thought I switched to the, I could have sworn I switched to the as off. All right. So it looks like we need uh vehicle spare parts. So that's why I opted to grab this truck and we're actually pretty close to where we need to go. So. I'm gonna, I'm gonna swing up this hill, and hope that's not a mistake. Uh, it doesn't look that bad. Famous last words. It doesn't look that bad. <laughs> well, let's let's give her and see what happens. We're gonna try to stay away from the. Uh, the cliffs and the, the peaks to make sure that we don't high center or get stuck so and then I don't think there's a guardrail no there isn't a guardrail so we should be okay perfect look at that nice little shortcut there all right so here I thought this was going to be like Alaska and Michigan where you just nonchalantly uh, went through the uh, the gates and didn't really have to do anything to open them so <laughs> apparently I was wrong so that's okay that's what it's all about we're learning right so let's go get our spare parts and hopefully hopefully this will unlock the quarry <laughs> I may actually have to uh, to Google this because I have uh, yeah, I have like 50 minutes left and short of just running around doing little missions um, or our contracts, I got to figure out how to unlock the quarry. <laughs> I have a feeling it is part of the uh, the contract, so and, and nobody gave me a heads up, so thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's fine. You guys probably didn't even realize that I was going to the quarry today, but that was the plan. And hopefully still is the plan. Alright, so this should be a nice simple uh, loading procedure procedure. I uh, don't want metal beams. We want vehicle spare parts. There we go. 
now. Uh, apparently these vehicle square parts are very heavy because I just lost all acceleration of this uh, this truck. All right, let's uh, take a quick look at the map and see where we need to go. Uh, it is okay. We're gonna come out here. We're gonna come out here, and we are going to go there. So uh, a short little trip. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. And yeah, I think we're going to skip once we uh, once we drop everything off. So I have a very busy week coming up, so I'm going to try and get all of this, um, all of my recordings for the week done this weekend, uh, which is actually going to be unfortunate because I think I asked you guys for help and chances are I'm going to be... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have all these recorded by the time you guys even watch the first episode or this episode. So uh, chances are I'm going to be Googling this. <laughs> but uh, still free. Feel free to. Uh, oops, we'll just we'll just take out that fine or the, uh, the birch tree. Feel free to leave it in the comments just in case if uh, anyone else has the same question. And if you're playing along at home. Hopefully that will help you out. <clears throat> oh, high gear doesn't work very well in that instance. All right, so here's our tanker. Shouldn't need any gas. Come on. Come on, truck, you can do it. Keep pushing. Oh. Well, we almost made it. Hopefully, it, I'm hoping that uh, the hub recovery stage one, I'm hoping that said that it was uh, unlocking the quarry. But I could be and probably am um, horribly wrong. Because I think we're starting to get to the maps where you have to build your garages. You have to bring the supplies to, uh, to deal with them. And... Boom. Alright, so apparently they tack welded everything together. Sweet. Home away from home. What can we do here that we couldn't do anywhere else? Besides move the, the dang camera. Ouch! That didn't feel too good. What is this, a trailer store? Well, that's convenient. Um, yeah, let's, let's sell this trailer back. And uh, I'm gonna... Ooh, there's gas here too? It's basically a garage, but not because each piece is individual. So I can fill up and then I can swing up over this thing and repair. 
And then we can figure out what we're doing next because apparently, if I had to guess, this isn't unlocking the quarry. Alright, truck is fully repaired. That was pretty, uh, painless. And yeah, I, I, I made it through there without uh, hitting anything, so that's that's always a plus. Uh, let's jump back to the ER. Does this, you know what? Oh, no. This pack is pa package. This passage seems to be blocked by. Be blocked for now. Uh, what if I just gun it and run for it? I just climb over it, right? What? That sucks. Oh. I am completely balancing on the gate. Alright, well let's uh... Let's just winch ourselves off of there because now it's just kind of silly. There we go. Alright, so somehow we're going to have to unlock this. And... Maybe they're telling me that I have to do all these before I can move on. Well, you know what? Let's go... There's the wooden planks. We gotta drop off from there. We gotta pick up from the sawmill. We are... Well, we're not the closest, but... I think the, uh... Whoops. I think the Azov will, uh, be able to handle that. So if we just get our trailer back and we skip to morning and then we end up heading over to the sawmill how did I didn't oh that drives me nuts when I do that you click it and then activate it that's how you do it all right, so we are going to the sawmill, so let's pull out of this beast. I think, yeah, I think what we can do is actually, if we exit out this entrance, we don't have to go through all that mud. Oh, uh, but we do have to smash into that, so. Well. <laughs> You know what? We're here. Let's go up and over. And hopefully the trailer will follow behind. Alright, well that, that worked out. There we go. Alright, I believe we just swing off to the left here. You know what? Maybe I should mark this out. Uh, I'm gonna go this way. To the sawmill. And then we can loop around. Yeah. I can tell you, like, jumping back into the dairy after using this truck, I'm gonna feel like I'm flying. And it's funny because I never felt like I was ever going fast in this game until I started playing Expeditions. Where that game, you just crawl. You basically rock crawl everywhere, right? So to hit any type of double digit mile per hour. It is pretty decent speed, so... But you come here to play in the, the dairy and you're doing 30, 40 kilometers... Yeah, I think 40 kilometers an hour. I'd have to check the gauge again. Maybe it's 40 miles an hour. 
That seems fast, though. Anyways. Yeah, this, this game is, uh... Nice, relaxing, and kind of on the slow side, which is nice. It's not just a run and gun kind of shooting game, so I am uh, I am enjoying it quite profusely. So, if that's the right word, for some reason my mind thinks it is, but my mouth kind of hesitated. <laughs> Anyways. Let's see here. Oh, is it telling me to go that way? Why is it that far? Yeah, it is. Yeah, okay, it's that way. Do I trust myself or not? This is, this is definitely more of a scout trail, but at the same time, it's pretty muddy, so let's actually do some first person. I haven't done this in a while. Mix things up a little bit. Try to avoid that mud. <laughs> Even though we have all this to look at. Uh, let's stay to the right. This trail doesn't look too bad. All right. Um, that's a little slow through here. It's still not not too horrible. Come on. All right, I see, I see our marker. We're almost there. Don't know what that says. Probably says welcome. And there is our lumber mill. Flash sawmill. It, it goes either way. There we go. All right, let's load up our full trailer of wooden planks. All right, let's get underway. We uh, had a little bit of a snag and I, uh, yeah, I did a little bit of research, which I mean, I didn't know I had to do research to play this game, but uh, I did, so. Uh, I figured out how to unlock the quarry, so we will be doing those missions next, but it has, uh, basically has nothing to do with this mission, so. We will actually, uh, take this load back, because it, uh, as you can see, it goes right back to the railway station. And then we can jump into the garage and, uh, do what we need to do. Get the right truck outfitted. To be able to do, uh, there's a, there's actually two missions to unlock the quarry. Uh, one of them is the uh, geological exploration, 
and the other one is looking beyond the horizon. So I will make sure we uh, put that in the title. Although I don't think don't think we're gonna get both of those done. So yeah, I'll have to uh, kind of explain it. <laughs> I, w I wish I would have did the research before I started this episode, or at least when I first found the quarry. Uh, because we probably could do both those episodes together in one. And then I can easily just call it the episode where we unlock the quarry. And then people would be able to use my video to do uh, research or when they Google it. <laughs> it might actually pop up and say, this is how you do it. And then they like and subscribe and then I blow up and become a, a, a YouTube sensation. And I feel like we're about to tip. Um, yeah, that's because we are. Let's cut in. There we go. Get that trailer to settle down. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, <laughs> that's my plan anyway. So I might even, I might even pick a different, uh, mission just to, uh, finish up this episode. And then the next episode will be, uh, looking at the quarry, so... I think that's probably more likely to be the right plan of action and that's what I'm gonna do so you know it's funny I've been doing um, I've done a couple uh, episodes of like uh, okay we almost tipped over again uh, but I've been doing a couple episodes of my uh, farming simulator series and I find that one so much harder to do uh, it's harder to comment while you're playing for some reason. I don't know if it's because you have more going on. Uh, do I want to... Yeah, oh, I really don't want to go straight. That's got that nasty bridge there. I am actually going to turn this way and opt for the uh, safer path. Uh, just because my brain's a little fried right now. <laughs> I've been doing, I've been streaming too many, or not streaming, I've been creating too many episodes all at once, so uh, it's been a very, very busy day, but uh, yeah, so anyways, I, I just, I find it harder to, to have a conversation with you guys while I'm farming for some reason. But I'm hoping I will uh, get over that uh, little bump there. It's, it's almost like I started YouTubing for the first time again. <laughs> It, it, it's funny because I remember it, it was so awkward to sit here and talk and give commentary while I'm playing, which really wasn't uncalled or uh, it wasn't unheard for me to talk to myself while I'm playing, <laughs> constantly yelling at the screen and, and whatnot. But uh, yeah, it just it was it just felt really odd having that conversation uh, with somebody who isn't technically there at the time. If you know what I mean, like, I know you guys are gonna watch it, but I'm, as I'm speaking right now, nobody's actually listening. So, uh, it is kind of weird, but I've, I've, I think I've gotten over it, especially with this game. But it's, uh, it's kind of coming back with the, uh, the farming simulator series. So, if you guys know anything about farming simulator, please check it out. Let me know how I'm doing. Um, I know I'm not gonna be doing that great right now, but. Uh, it's a, it's a fun little series. It's uh, called the uh, Inheritance Challenge, and I basically was laid off from my job, and then a couple months later I found out that my great uncle died and had uh, left me his farm, which was actually went through bankruptcy before he had passed. And so I inherited a bunch of buildings and land, but no equipment, no crops, no, no uh, well, two grass fields. And so, yeah, the whole point is, is that I gotta challenge and make it a successful, uh, a successful farm. So, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have some fun on that series. So, if you guys uh, have ever seen Farming Simulator, or if you never have and you want to check it out, it's a it's a great way to uh, to watch. And obviously, you'll be supporting and helping my channel out uh, on top of it. So it's even better. Anyways, enough about different games. Uh, let's focus on SnowRunner, because 
yeah, I've, I've tipped this over almost twice now. So, last thing I want to do is actually tip it over because... Although we're, we're relatively close to base, I, yeah, I don't really want to waste the time. Although it would give me a good reason to um, do the quarry in the next episode, which I am doing. I've, I've got it down in my mind, but I'm, I'm hoping to get another task done. Or, uh, should I say mission? I always get them confused. I always get tasks. The tasks are the little ones. The, the contracts are the ones that... Uh, you have to go to the actual companies for. Uh, oh wait, nope. Premature. Thought I had to go left there. Okay, definitely don't want to go straight, but it looks like that's a trail. I'm not gonna lie, it looks like something's written there. Those, those look like somebody wrote uh, something in the sand. Anyways. Uh, let's see, we gotta head up. Yeah, it's this direction here. I like how that's a that's a legit trail, but it doesn't show that way on the map. Let's try to not roll our truck over. Oh, it's so bumpy through here. It really does go to show how good this truck is. Although, it is a little on the slow side, and the turning radius sucks. <laughs> but, it is good. It's It's got good power, it's got good stability, it's got great traction, and the uh, an amazing fuel economy, so... Everything you need in an off-road vehicle. Alright, so we are almost there. We've got our little uh, concrete, I don't even want to call it a bridge, but it's our concrete slab path <laughs> that we have to uh, cross, and I, I prefer to attack it from this angle. Um, all, I know all the, the tire marks and stuff go on uh, kind of across the other side, but it doesn't, it, you, you tend to damage yourself if you do that, so. Um, and we don't want to turn here in the garage, obviously, because we got to go drop these off. All five wooden planks. It's a pretty big load. Uh, hopefully we'll get a good hefty amount of money. Although I think all the good trucks are, uh, we have to find them in the world, so... Uh, there's one truck in particular I really want to try. Uh, which is the 605R. If you know, you know. And uh, I've never driven it before, so I'm kind of, I want to see what all the uh, fuss is about. Because uh, really right now, the, the Dairy Longhorn is my uh, go-to truck. Uh, besides this one, obviously. <laughs> Those are my two uh, recommendations, I guess. My, my top choice. Alright, let's throw our handbrake on. And drop off all five loads of lumber. And 2700 bucks, not bad. Not great, but not bad. And uh, let's see here, yeah, let's go in... Ah, uh, what do we got? That's logging, so that's not gonna happen. That's logging, that's not gonna happen. That's locked. Okay, everything else in that mi mission is locked. Uh, cycle of cargo. Ooh, okay. We got the sawmill. Where do we, where do we gotta pick stuff up from? What? Oh, it's hidden. Okay. Well, look at that. Deliver to the factory. Where's the factory? We gotta go to the sawmill. With cement. Then from the sawmill, we'll pick up the two planks. And then we'll take those to the factory, and I'm assuming the factory will get concrete slabs, which then we will take to the farm. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and I think we can do that. We got 20 minutes. Whoops. There I go again, not accepting the actual mission. Boom. And if, it's, if this is what I think, where we 
we take stuff from here, we bring it here, then we pick stuff up from here, and we bring it, I don't know, over to the factory, and then we pick something up from the factory and bring it over to the farm. I'm hoping that there's more missions like that, because believe it or not, I kind of like that. Uh, so we need cement. Uh, two of them. I'm guessing technically we probably could use the flatbed. Uh, but we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna keep this trailer just because we have it. And I really don't think it affects the, uh, the handling or the, uh, power to weight ratio that much anyways. So yeah, we're gonna keep it on. It should be fine. Uh, let's go ahead. Whoops. Let's go ahead and skip to morning. And yeah, let's get underway because we've got... I'm going to turn the headlights on real quick because it is a foggy morning. Very, very purple sky today. Uh, but we are going to head all the way over back to the sawmill, which... Honestly, we just came from the sawmill, so... We know exactly how to get there. <clears throat> and let's see here. We've got 65 gallons of gas. I'm going to grab some. Uh, where do I want to grab some gas? You know what? We might have to grab gas later. We should be okay. <laughs> I'm going to run out of, uh, I'm going to run out of time before I run out of gas. So, yeah, we should be, we should be fine. We don't have that huge heavy load on us right now, so that really doubled our uh, fuel uh, rate, so I think we'll be okay. Alright, here we go. I mean, I really don't feel like we're going much faster. It all depends on if this uh, truck starts to shift gears. Because uh, that's where I enjoy or prefer to use the high gear. Is when it starts doing stuff like this. So if we go into second and then it slows back down to first. Let's see, will it? Oh, it hit third. Um, although, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go this way. This is the correct way. <laughs> uh, so this game is so much different than Farming Simulator. In fact, when I, when I was playing it, I know I said I wasn't going to talk about this anymore, but I just thought this was funny. But, uh, when I was playing it and I went to park the tractor, I actually hit my RB or my R my R1 button to uh, put the handbrake on so the tractor wouldn't roll away and I'm like wait what <laughs> that's the wrong game and uh, yeah I, I, I did almost uh, tip over there so enough about that let's uh, let's stay with SnowRunner I'm getting distracted here jeez all right I know I just went down this way but I do not remember it. <laughs> it looks so different going the opposite direction. <sighs> but I do remember that hill because we, we almost tipped over there. And then... I think we almost tipped over here. And just over that hill we almost tipped over. And just on the other side of the brim there we almost tipped over. So yeah. I mean, we, we almost tip over a lot. <laughs> Any, anywho. <clears throat> you know what? I never say that saying. I never say that saying in, in real, I guess in real life. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I say it here. Yeah. There's also one other thing I do. I tend not to swear in my, um, in my let's plays, in my commentary. Uh, but in real life, I usually, I, I swear probably more than I should. So I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it, I feel like my, my grandmother's watching these or, or what, but... 
Um, but yeah, she's uh, she's actually passed away. Uh, how, how long has it been now? I think it's been over two years now. Uh, but yeah, anyways, I, I don't know why I really brought that up, but um, it's, it's just kind of crazy how time flies. Uh, cause yeah, I've been, I've been doing this for over a year now. I just got, uh, not too long ago, I got my notification that my channel was one year old. So I, I would have liked to have been around 500, uh, subscribers, but yeah, you know what? It is what it is. You can't really, can't really control it. Um, I do get a little jealous though when I see subscribers that have less people than me do the same content that I am and for some reason they'll have a thousand views on their video and I'm like I don't understand why I'm only getting a couple hundred Ooh. oh we are stuck good See, this is what happens when you get a little jealous I guess um, I don't know what what we're stuck on but let's see if we can get us unstuck. Uh yeah, I think we're I think we're free now. Although we're still pretty stuck in the mud. Come on. Nope. Turn left. Turn left. Alright. Uh we're gonna have to winch off this. I don't know why I went for this I didn't realize how deep this mud puddle was. <laughs> Holy crap. Alright, well next time definitely avoid that. Uh, but yeah, so anyways, I just, I don't understand. It's it's great that they're getting these views, but I'm like, I, I don't know what they're doing that's so different than what I'm doing. Um, and really, the only thing I can look for is under description. And the description seems to be, you know, they have their keywords and whatnot and then they have you know the same stuff that I have under mine but for some reason you know YouTube algorithms or whatever maybe it's where they live I don't know I have no clue um, but anyways I'm gonna I'm gonna stop complaining about, about YouTube and just focus on the games because uh, yeah you guys probably don't want to hear me bitch about uh, about this stuff so <laughs> anyways uh, so we are slowly running out of time, so we might, uh, I don't know, we might, we, we should be able to do this. I'm going to have my fingers crossed that we can do this. We should be getting pretty close to the sawmill right now. Uh, you know what, this doesn't look that bad. I mean, I can't really see anything because of freaking fog is just everywhere. I think, they, I think they did this on purpose so we can't see where we're going. It's, it's, it's starting to look like Silent Hill up in here. And, uh, yeah. If you guys have ever played Silent Hill, that was a, uh, that was a freaky little game. And the worst part was, is I, I don't think I really got that far into it. <laughs> and uh, not because I was scared, just because I lost interest, but um, yeah, it was crazy. And then you watch the movie and it was even crazier. So it's, it's I, I don't even remember what the movie was about. I just remember it being uh, pretty insane. So, all right, so let's drop these off because I believe we pick up planks from here. Yay, that stage is complete. And now, yep, we pick up two planks. And we have to drive them over to the factory. Uh, which is only a half a mile away. And I'm tempted. I'm tempted to take the first right. You know what? We're going to still be on the wrong side of the road unless we cut through that town. 
You know, I'm gonna cut through. I know we've gone this path before, so let's uh Yeah, let's go a way we haven't gone before. And hopefully we'll be passing some gas soon or something, because uh we may be in trouble. <laughs> For some reason I thought we were going to pass our gas trailer. But um yeah, we 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 didn't. So hopefully, hopefully we'll be okay. Still got time. We can still do this. All right. So yep, I was didn't realize it was that close. And uh, yeah, let's hope that the. Uh, Road didn't get washed out. And I can't really tell if this is a uh, good road for this truck or not. It, I'm not gonna lie, it looks a little iffy. We're just gonna give her. little bit of a correction there. <laughs> oh man. This is this is definitely a uh, scout trail. Although I feel like we could just easily scoot up that hill with no problem. Sometimes the map, uh, like on the map, it looks like it's a lot farther away than just right there. Oops. And if we do, I guess it really doesn't matter if we scoot up that hill or not. We should easily be able to cross over this rock. Because uh, this is starting to look like expeditions in here. tell. I know there's a road over there that we have to jump on sooner or later. Oh, definitely not. Definitely later. It's definitely later. Alright, let's scoot down this way. Now really, really somebody should come through here and maybe plow uh, this road flat. That would probably help out a lot. Hey, there are the bees. Look at that. I thought the hay bales were uh, beehives, but those are our, those are the beehives. Anyways, got distracted there. Sorry, guys. Uh, let's see. What? Yeah, where do I want to cut through? Cause there's not really, I guess, yeah, I guess there is a trail here. Um, but I could just cut through there. You know what? I think I'm going to keep going and see if I can't see a better path. I really don't want to drive through those people's fences. That would just be rude. But then again, it's snow runner. And yep. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. And yep, yeah, there's a fence there, that's good. Uh oh, I'm still not even on the road. Abort. We gotta go back this way to find the road. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, I just kind of made my own path, but you know what? You can do that in SnowRunner. Nobody's going to come out and yell at me. No one. Not a single person. Not even a Karen. Karen's not even going to be able to come out and yell at me. Alright, and it looks like we dropped ourselves off in our, uh, our favorite uh, mud log bridge thing. You know what? It gives the truck... Good 
suspension workout. It's it's a little bumpy on the inside, but not not horrible. Definitely manageable. But yeah. Come on, we are tenth of a mile there. <laughs> that's that's an awkward way to say it, but whatever. I'm fine with it. We have passed a gas station by now. I feel like somewhere around here should be a gas station. Maybe, maybe there's a trailer store. All right, let's see. We have to pick up concrete slabs now. I think we only need one concrete slab. Uh, but if we need two, we definitely have room for it. But I was just thinking, I, I had mentioned that you could probably use the uh, flatbed for it. So if we do need to pick up concrete slabs, then you wouldn't be able to use the, the flatbed for it. So, uh, because concrete slabs are two slabs a piece, and you need two, so that's four. Because that's how math works. Yay! Oh, we do need one. Yeah, so you could have used a flatbed. And we've got a fuel station there. And we've got a long ways to the quarry, so um, I'm going to I'm gonna kind of take the longer route. Should be oh, there it is. For some reason, I didn't see it the first time I looked at it. Yeah, we're gonna scoot through here. We're gonna go grab some fuel. Should just be right at the top of this hill. We're gonna we're gonna make our own path through there. Ooh, that could have been dangerous. All right, let's get up this hill. We'll leave that tree alone. <laughs> Alright, so now we can get some fuel. So now I don't feel so bad. Okay, all we gotta do is not tip over now. And, uh, yeah, famous last words, right? And what's the best way to get... Where am I going? That's the quarry. That's the farm. So I already know this path is a nightmare. But I think we can do it. Oh, you know what? I think what we're going to do... I think we're going to go around. Might take a little longer, but I think it's going to be the uh, the better idea to do. We definitely don't want to uh, flip this thing over trying to get through a scout trail. Especially seeing on how this is the last part of the mission. I think I'm just going to uh, I'm going to shut up for a bit and we're just going to enjoy the um, the sounds of the game. <laughs> uh, always trying to bring that back, right? I don't know. Sometimes I just I get I get tired of talking if you know what I mean. Like literally my jaw starts to hurt and I can feel my voice getting more raspy. So yeah, we're just going to take a small break and uh, enjoy what comes naturally in the game with the sound. Uh, but first, we got back up. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, 
Wow, we are absolutely no tracking right now. I'm just dragging that tree closer to me. All right, somehow I got stuck. Oh, that's gonna tip us over. Let's attach to that side of the vehicle. It's still gonna wanna tip us. There we go. <laughs> well, that turned out to be a bad turn. Oh, this is definitely not the movie with Paul Walker in it. Called Wrong Turn. When he tried to, uh... I don't even know what you would call it. He was, uh... Anti-hero, I guess? In a horror movie? Yeah, it was kind of weird. He, uh... Yeah. I mean, it, it was it was an okay movie, I guess. It was early 2000s, I think. Mid-2000s, maybe? Something like that? Quite a while ago. I think he had just done Fast and the Furious 2. Maybe it may... Hell, maybe it was 1. Anyways. Uh... Yeah, it turned out to be an okay movie. I don't think anyone would have uh, remembered it if he wasn't in it, though. Because I honestly, I barely remember it.
I swear I get stuck here every time. And it just takes a little back and forth to get through it. I think it's that stupid root that's there. Uh, one of these one of these days I'm gonna have to figure out either how to go around it or how to uh, how to go over it. Or better yet, how to never come down this path again. Yeah, who knows? All right, so where are we here? We are way over time, and we still got to go all the way up there. So we've got we've got a ways to go still, but we are good on gas, and we just have to get there. Come on, power through. We need more speed. Speed and power. Really can't wait to upgrade this engine. Oh, it's gonna kill the gas mileage. I just I just know it's gonna go from sucking two gallons a minute to probably five or six. That's probably not gonna go that high, but it probably will be. I bet you it will be four. All right, we are getting to our fuel tanker, so it looks like we would have had enough gas. We only went through less than 20 gallons, so... I think we actually did 16, so... Yeah, we, we definitely would have made it without refueling, but you know what? We made it... Um, I don't remember if it's left or right. Let's refuel again, just for fun. And we have to go left. And we have to back up a little bit. <laughs> Aye. Alright, at least we're on asphalt right now, so this should speed things up a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. A ton. Twice as fast. Easy. Look at this blazing speed we're going. Let's see. We're doing a whopping 25 miles an hour, guys. 25. I don't know how I can keep this under control. Ooh, did we get up to 30? We got up to 30. We are going downhill. We are at 500 RPMs. Actually, I'm going to guess that's probably... Oh, 1,000 RPMs. I think we're at 1,000 RPMs right now. Unless that's our Geiger counter and that's our radiation levels. Which is very well possible. It is Russia. I don't know how close we are to Chernobyl. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, we got up to a whopping 30 miles an hour. And yeah, it's going to slow down from here, so... I'm going to stick to the mud side. There we go. Now we're back on some asphalt. And you know what? I don't know if the asphalt actually disappears under the water. Eh, it does a little bit. Go this way. I want to look at my map, but I'm pretty sure we got to go up that hill, so we should be okay. Hopefully, that is. Oh, oh, oh! Uh, a little sunk. <laughs> Must have found a, a nice soft mud spot. All right. Well, that's that's better. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and trek up the hill. We've got we've got time, and we've got the techno color sky again. Uh, I wonder if they realized that when they made this map, how crazy the colors in the skies were. 
I don't know. I have a feeling they did. Maybe they just didn't care. Who knows? Who knows? Alright, so we are getting close, guys. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm over my hour mark, but that's okay. I'm not, I'm not mad. Uh, hopefully I'm not over 120, because I think, I think 120 was about, or maybe it was 117. I think that's the longest video I've ever made. In SnowRunner, that is. Alright, what's the best way now? If I remember correctly, we can just go up over this hill. <laughs> I don't think it's the end of the world. I could be wrong. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna hopefully keep an eye on the terrain, make sure that there is no way that we are going to tip over. Um, so let's cut in this way. Keep the truck facing downhill. That's the most important thing to do. So that you don't tip over. And make sure there's no cliffs. Alright, there we go. That was a nice little shortcut. But it worked. And this mission is... Finito. Boom. $4,800. Not too bad. We're still, uh, we're still a little shy of that 500,000 mark, but that's all right. Uh, is there a trailer store? No, there isn't. Really want a trailer store. I want to, I want to just jump back to the, uh, to the garage and, uh, yeah, outfit this truck with some, uh, Seismic monitoring, geological exploration stuff. Let's let's call it that. But I think this is where we need to get the seismic uh, reader and then drive all over the map. So uh, should be pretty fun. And uh, yeah, I don't think that scout trailer is ever going to get recovered. Um, yeah, let's just bounce off of that. It's fine. That telephone pole. Yeah, we'll bounce off of that too. Why not? How do I get out of here? I am now stuck in this farm. I don't know what type of farm this is, but I don't want to be here. This farm scares me. A lot. <laughs> this is not like any other farm I've ever seen in my life. But alright, I'm going to end it there because I know I'm already way over my time. Uh, so I yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe because it helps the channel. And uh, it helps me out too because then I feel better about myself. And then I know that I'm doing, I'm doing the right thing. But uh, yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.